taking place tomorrow, and it's all to help raise awareness. Canby is joined by some special guests to find out more. Well, the actual ride isn't happening tomorrow. They are doing a golf tournament tomorrow to try and raise money for this. So what are the types of cancers that you guys focus on for the Ride for Dads? Oh, Ride for Dads. So um, we are focused on uh, bile duct cancer. It's the third fastest growing cancer in the world. And it's for we're raising funds for the Billy Project Foundation, which is going to address these cancers. So how did this all come about? Because you have been doing the ride for about eight years now. Yes. So how did this come together? So um, uh, all three of us, we met riding bikes and doing the America's Most Beautiful Bike Ride around Lake Tahoe. And we've all, always been raising money for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society for team and training. And over the years, we've raised um, lots and lots of funds for this. But a couple of years ago, Mary and I decided to do something specially for our dads because we both lost our dads to blood cancers. So last year we started the Ride for Dads Golf Classic and with a team of team and training folks, we were able to raise $201,000. Wow, that is amazing. So the golf tournament is happening tomorrow. People can yes. still register if they want? Yes, people can still sign up uh, to register. But what's important this year is that we decided because of our good friend, Kathy Barboza, that we wanted to raise money for her cancer. She's actually going through it right now and she can talk more about that. But the funds that we raise tomorrow at the golf tournament are gonna go directly to the Billy Project Foundation to fund research at UCSF specifically for cholangiocarcinoma. And so, Kathy, let's talk with you because sure. you are battling the disease currently. Right. And so what's going on with you right now? So um, I found out I had cancer because I went for a physical. I had no signs or no nothing. And the one thing about bile duct cancer is it's uh, silent cancer. And so most people find it when they're already stage four, which is where I was. So the only real option I had was surgery to get rid of the cancer. So I had, lucky for me, I had surgery. Very few people have, can have surgery. And then um, the next thing is, is trial therapies because they don't really know what causes the cancer. And so the, one of the benefits of cancer, I guess one of the gifts they say, is that you really figure out who your friends are and, and your family that comes around you. And I have some great friends here who have been raising you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars for leukemia and lymphoma for all these years. And they said, they turned to me this year and they said, well, why don't we do it for you this year? And so we were able to partner with the Billy Project Foundation, which is a foundation that does a lot of fundraising for UCSF where I'm being treated. Um, and it was just, it came together so nicely and a, a group of friends supporting it. And, you know, we're taking a goal of $100,000 and that grant is gonna be used to look at, uh, trying to figure out what is causing this cancer and why is it growing so quickly. Where are you in your journey right now with cancer? So I had surgery about uh, 16 months ago and I've been on a trial therapy for eight months. And so my trial therapy is an immunotherapy. And so what that does is it tells your body to fight the cancer. So it kind of breaks down the, the cell of the cancer and tells your body to fight it. And so I don't look like a cancer patient because I have this great immunotherapy. But the ironic thing about it is the, the therapy is approved for lymphoma and now they're trying it on other cancers. So all that fundraising we did as a group actually is benefiting me because it's a lymphoma drug that's being in a trial for uh, cholangiocarcinoma. I love that, and uh, make no doubt about it though, immunotherapy, it, it makes you sick a couple days after you get that done. Do you do it every two weeks or so? Oh, actually, my immunotherapy is really easy. I just take two pills every single day, oh, wow. and, and my side effects are really minimal. So um, chemo is just, the, my oncologist has said, Chemo, uh, 10 years from now, chemo is gonna seem barbaric of the way we treat cancer. And these immunotherapies and all these trials that are out there is really the next phase of cancer treatment. And I'm just lucky that my cancer right now, the cancer I have, is really um, being combated by this lymphoma drug. And um, I'm very lucky, I'm very lucky. Ride for Dad's website that people can find more info. Yes, it's ridefordads.com, it's F-O-R-D-A-D-S. And if you go to the big green banner and say learn more, that'll take you to the golf tournament page. Uh, we still can take a few foursomes and everyone's welcome to come for dinner. But if you can't make it, there is a, a link to donate and you can donate right there on and the And there's gonna be great weather tomorrow for that golf tournament. Ashley? So informative. Thank you so much, Candy. Some say Easter is all about the 